In this Firefly training lesson, we're going to show you how to configure a replacement Ethernet printer. With receipt and kitchen printers now connecting to your network, which we refer to as Ethernet printers, they must be configured to set the correct IP address. This lesson will show you how to do that, and you'll find it's quite easy and allows you to replace a printer at any time with ease. The configuration is done with a program that is created by the printer manufacturer. In this lesson, we'll show you where to obtain this configuration tool and how to use it. Before we get started with the program, let's make sure our printer is connected with both the network cable and the power cable. Let's make sure it has paper in it, and if it's an inkjet printer, let's make sure it has the ink cartridges in place. Of course, the uh, thermal printers will not need any ink. And please, do not turn the printer on quite yet. Let's now talk about where to find the configuration program. On your Windows station, it will be under the Firefly folder in Drivers, and then Printers, and then either Bixlon or Epson, depending on which type of printers you have. If you cannot find it, then you can type in the appropriate link shown below into a browser and download the file and install it. All right, let's take a look at what that program looks like. What we're looking at here is the configuration program for the Bixelon Ethernet printers. When you first launch it, the little area on the left here, which is referred to as the board list, it's actually the printer list, will be completely blank. So we'll go down and select the search button, and that will then display all of the printers that we have in our uh, restaurant. Now, if you have a multitude of Ethernet printers, they're all going to be listed here. It's going to be a lot easier if you go turn off all the printers that aren't being replaced so that it narrows down the list and it'll be easier to find the correct one or ones. So if you have just one, like in my example, it'll be highlighted, and all of the particular information for that printer will be displayed on the center section here. So what we want to do first is replace this IP address. Now, to find your IP address of the old printer, we're going to need to go into the Firefly program. We'll go to the Manager's home screen. We'll select the Configuration, and then we'll select Printers on the left. Now, on the bottom, there's going to be a list of all the printers. Select the little radio button on the left-hand side of that particular printer, and then select the Edit button. Now at the top, there's going to be a field that shows the IP address. Remember what that IP address is, or write it down if you have an old memory like mine. And now we're going to come back to the configuration program, and we're going to replace this IP address with that IP address. In my case, it's 10.10.10.165. The subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0. Make sure that is what you see on your configuration program, and if not, change it accordingly. Now, the gateway, in my case, will be 10.10.10.1. 99% of all Firefly systems in the world use the 10.10.10.something scheme for all the printers, as well as all the computers, in fact. So the gateway is going to be 10.10.10.1. However, for those 1%, the IP address of your printer might be something like 192.168.1.165 or some other number. If that is your case, then the gateway is going to be the same three numbers of your printer followed by a 1. So for example, if your printer was 192.168.1.165, then your gateway is going to be 192.168.1.1. Lastly, let's verify that the port you see on your configuration program is 9100. Do not select the checkbox check here for DHCP. Make sure your speed is 9600 it should default to that so let's not change it and then we're gonna select the setting button 
This will send all this information over to the printer. Once it's done, you'll get a little pop-up to let you know it's been completed, and we'll select OK. Now it's time to test the printer. If all the information is uh, entered correctly, the printer should function just the same as the original printer did. For those of you that have Epson printers, let's take a look at that configuration program. The Epson configuration tool is very similar to the Bixalon configuration tool. When you first load it up, all the printers that you have turned on that are Epson Ethernet will show up in this list here. You'll simply click on uh, the printer that you want to change the configuration on, hit the configuration button, and then you'll be presented with uh, very similar information that we had on the Bixalon in which you can change the IP address, um, the gateway, subnet mask if needed, and the port if needed. Then there will be a button on that screen that allows you to send that information to the printer. Unfortunately, I don't have an Ethernet printer in my office to, uh, to show you, but again, uh, I think you can figure it out. It's pretty similar. Well, I hope that helps you to change your own IP address for a replacement printer, and you should be able to do that on your own now. Um, I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.